Hello, I'm Rob Gale and this is my journey to track and interview the citizen. Last time on Hunting Citizen. Sick man, but he's just living life in awkward silences. For Wyatt, he started the voice. Usually I ignore his emails because they're always about cult actions, but he was interested to hear about me. Makes me nervous about what he says in his music because they take it as gospel truth and follow it. I'm not scared of the voice yet, they just promote free speech, but most cults start like that. They're completely harmless. They hack my site to add the logo. Every time he removes it, they add it again. Uh, well, um, I've been producing music as a citizen for four years now, and before the citizen, I've been producing music for almost ten years in various incarnations. Always with nothing coming of it. It's strange that most of my controversial and my most pop controversial and political project projects have achieved greater success. Strangely, a few of the earliest Citizen songs were recorded many years ago as part of another project. I just added different lyrics to it. <clears throat> I am one citizen, one of many. To 95% of people I have never I have ever met, I am just a number. To my government, I am just a number. I am number 850. When I first moved to Bristol, I was searching for jobs, and when I was applying for benefits, I was given the number 850. It seems so strange to just be an even number. Just for, like even to join a queue, where I needed another useless number. I want my voice not to not be one of those particular person, but one citizen. One equal, one living, breathing, thinking, existing human being. I've toured quite a bit when my first album was released and everything tends to sound different when I play it live, mainly due to me feeling different emotions. I use one pre-recorded track to tie it together and play the other tracks and vocals live on top. I found UDR what, through one of my good friends who was signed to the record label. He knew I wanted to get my voice out and didn't care about the money. It's like a family, even though sometimes we're slightly dysfunctional. There's no pressure, no restraints. We can be who we want to be, make what we want to make, and most importantly, say what we want to say. Mute has opened my eyes to business. Even though no money is involved, he is a pure example of a selfless being who produces music for the love. I record very much in the spur of the moment. If I read or watched something that pisses me off or, or any other emotion, I use my raw emotion into feeling the music and how it's created. And literally anything could happen. Most of my music is produced on the spot with lyrics to match. The music is straight from my heart, what I feel and the lyrics are and the lyrics are to give the emotion a context. <clears throat> As mentioned just now, it's pure emotion. My music is not to be listened to, it is to be felt, it is to be inspired. It is very multi-layered, crazy blippy midi keyboards, whirring synths, found sounds and dark distorted vocals. When asked to categorise it before, I simply said, other. But if I had to say hard clash and noise, infused digital hardcore chip tune punk, see that's why it was better not to ask. Many people have asked that same question. They always want to know why a little boy brought up in such a perfect middle class childhood who couldn't possibly understand suffering wants to take it on himself and spread this message and criticise everything that he's been brought up to know. Well, it's like this. Smiles are thin, laughs are hollow. We're all resting on the edge of a huge drop. 
It's just that everyone is too ignorant or false to realise or to acknowledge it. Yes, my life was comfortable, but many, many people suffer and I couldn't sit there laughing, lying to myself and pretending that's all okay. I found my voice in my way and I want people to do the same. I don't hide behind this. Just makes me anonymous. I can be anybody under the mask. Most people think of me are based on my opinions and what people think of my opinions is not based on what I look like. Not really. I know that if others had acted how I have in the past and they would have regrets when looking back. But at the end of the day, I feel I've been selfless and have made a few sacrifices and hurt a few people. But I've limited the damage to people who can take it and will understand me and what I am trying to achieve. Well, since I first put on this mask, I started really thinking about the world in this new way. I've learned what is important to me. And yes, I found it easier to let go because even though the real me has let go and moved on, it is the citizen that is who people have to deal with, relate to and ultimately live with. My family couldn't take what I am, and so ruthless as it may sound, may cause can become became more important than relations. Existence is futile. My latest release is out on February on the YouTube. Existence is futile. My latest release is out on February on the YouTube. Existence is futile. My latest release is out on February on the YouTube. Existence is futile. My latest release is out on February on the YouTube. It is my first spoken word album. I just felt the need to speak out without hiding the cover of a music album. And now I have gained a small following. I feel like now is the time.